Welcome to the candidate forum hosted by the League of Women Voters of DeKalb County in partnership with WNIJ. My name is Jan Dorner and I am from the League of Women Voters of Elmhurst. The League of Women Voters is a nonpartisan organization that neither supports nor opposes candidates or parties for any office. The League's purpose is to promote political responsibility through the informed and active participation of citizens in government. Providing this forum allows citizens to become better informed about the issues facing their community and to become better acquainted with the candidates running for office. We are happy to provide this service for the community. The League of Women Voters is not responsible for verifying the accuracy of the statements that candidates make in this forum. Questions from the League and community members have been collected before this forum and were screened for duplication, clarity, and appropriateness to the office being discussed. The candidates have not been provided the questions before this forum. The candidates agreed in the ground rules that no voice, image, or other duplication of the forum may be used by any candidate's representative or campaign in any campaign advertising. This forum is available on several different WNIJ platforms, including Facebook Live. I've been asked to announce that WNIJ reserves the right to mute commenters who do not follow the WNIJ social media policy. This forum is among two of the four candidates seeking the position of county board member of the fourth district. Voters in district four will be voting for up to two candidates. By participating in this forum, all candidates have agreed to abide by the rules set forth prior to this forum. Each candidate will present a one minute introductory statement, the order set alphabetically by last name. Then questions will be asked and each candidate will have one minute to respond in alternating order. Closing statements will be one minute as well. An electronic timer will be used and candidates will, be, will strictly adhere to the time limits. Candidates, when the timer reaches zero, you may finish your sentence, but then you must stop. Our candidates tonight are Elizabeth Lundeen and Stuart Ogilvy. Please turn on your microphone and your cameras. Lori Emmer was unable to attend tonight, and candidate Brett Johansson did not reply to the invitation. So let's start with Elizabeth Lundeen. Your opening statement, you have one minute. Thank you, Jan. I want to start off by saying thank you to the League of Women Voters for hosting this opportunity tonight. Uh, I was ex excited to share with my husband that I was going to be able to participate in my first forum. So thanks. Um, my name is Elizabeth Lundeen. I am married to my high school sweetheart uh, of 16 years, and we have three uh, darling daughters that attend school here in District 4, as well as the middle school. Um, I am really excited to be getting my feet wet into this political arena. This is going to be my first go at it, and I cannot wait to have the opportunity to represent the constituents in District 4. Um, I spent a lot of time in 2020 and 21 attending school board meetings, trying to understand that process and protocols with those elected officials there, and I'm looking to get started here in DeKalb County. Thank you. Uh, candidate Stuart Ogilvy, you have one minute for opening statement. Well, thank you, Jim. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, my name is Stuart Ogilvy. Um, I grew up in DeKalb, Illinois. I grew up in DeKalb County. Um, I was away for quite a while. I got my degrees at uh, Kishwaukee and then studied University of Wisconsin La Crosse, then back at NIU, got teaching credentials. Um, I grew up in this area. I lived away for quite a while, then moved back. And this area has always been very nice to me and my son. Um, we bought a house in the year 2000, like Elizabeth. I'm new to this as well. So I'm dipping my toes in the water just as much and trying to learn. I'm a quick study, but trying to learn as I'm reading and as I'm seeing what's going on, <clears throat> excuse me, around. Other than that, that's me. Thank you. We're going to start with the first question with you, candidate Ogilvy. 
what relevant experience do you bring to this office? I, like I said, I'm a quick study. I'm a uh, been in unions, so I'm a union supporter as a teacher and as a theater person. I worked in the professional and educational theater for quite a while. Um, I'm an educator now helping students with special needs in the middle schools. And I, this area, I feel as though growing up here, you know, I was indoctrinated, you know, as a child, I detasseled and worked for the Cal bag, just like anybody else who grew up here. I think I was destined to come back to DeKalb because I, they say if you swim in the Kishwaukee River, you're either doomed or destined to come back to DeKalb. And I, I've always uh, liked it here and I wanted to, as a part of liking it here, I wanted to give back to the community for a change instead of just being here. So that's me. <laughs> Thank you. Candidate Lundin, same question. Can you repeat it just so that I don't get off track? Sure. What relevant experience do you bring to this office? Okay, thank you. Man, this minute goes by fast. Uh, my children tell me that I'm a chit chatter and I say that I'm not. But um, uh, I also am an educator uh, in a different district, in a different county, but I love coming back to DeKalb County, Sycamore every single night. I have family that is spread across the country and I've visited all of those different places. And as much as they want me to move to Texas or to Florida, uh, I love raising kids here in Sycamore and in DeKalb County. Um, my husband's family is a small business owner here in the district. And, uh, it's really important for me to represent our family and to represent our businesses that are in this district. And um, like I said, I spent a lot of time at school board meetings over the past two years and um, public education and what's happening here in uh, the district is really important to me. Thank you. Candidate Lundin, what do you see as the major challenges currently facing the county board and how would you work to resolve them? Uh, I will always be transparent with my constituents. Uh, I think that one of the things that needs to be addressed is having more civic engagement from our constituents. Um, a lot of time people want to only complain about something or be educated about something when they get upset. And I would really love to be able to re represent constituents uh, on a more consistent and regular basis. Um, you know, state and federal issues are um, unfortunately infiltrating a lot of conversations here in local government. And um, I think we have a, a diamond in the rough here in DeKalb County, and I think we need to do whatever we can to protect it and um, keep us moving forward and growing as a community. Thank you. Candidate Ogilvie? Uh, what do you see the major challenges currently facing the county board and how would you work to resolve them? Um, well, like Elizabeth, I think an open door policy is essential. We need to hear from everybody that we are representing rather than hoping that we just get it right. Um, there are all the governing, I mean, the most important governing you know, we get it nationally, we get it statewide, but the most important governing that affects the people the most are our local governments. And I would like to see the local government work together with the people, working for them, working uh, on different issues that that may arise as we're coming along. The DeKalb County is a wonderful county, but we do have some work to do on certain issues. And unfortunately, some of that, the national stuff bleeds through and taints what actually needs to be done here on the local level. Thank you. Candidate Ogilvie, would you support or oppose climate change mitigation for DuPage County? I'm sorry, DeKalb County, <laughs> I slipped. Um, uh, like solar farms and wind turbines, please explain your answer. Um, I do support uh, green energy. I do support uh, solar farms. Um, I'm not sure of wind turbines. 
how often or how they will be um, licensed. We have a lot, and I, from what I understand, the process is very difficult to go through. The, the uh, solar farms, however, we have a lot of land, and it's not like we would be taking land from, you know, a lively crops there. We are taking land or the farmers would be using the land to uh, lay out their solar arrays and it would be regenerating the land underneath it rather than, yes, okay, uh, switching the crops back and forth does help when it comes to rejuvenating the farm land, but natural decomposition is more important under the solar panels. Thank you. Candidate Lundin, same question. There is so much opportunity to learn and to have conversations with the people inside of our district about what they would like to see. I know there's a lot of open land. Um, I, I can see that we're already supporting those solar panels um, very near to this district. Um, private property rights is really, really important to me. Um, I can't say that I would make a sweeping decision without getting all of the facts on how it would impact each person's um, property, um, but I do know that the, the district and the county is already supporting uh, renewable energy through some of the uh, ethanol and the wind and solar that's already happening in the county. So. I'm always gonna to stick to facts. I'm always gonna to stick to conversations with my constituents and see what it is that they want to have happen in DeKalb County. Thank you. Candidate Lundin, the city of DeKalb estimates new industrial properties to have an equalized assessed value of approximately $28 million. This could bring an approximate $9.6 million in new revenue to the county. How would you like to see these funds utilized? Anytime you get an opportunity to work with um, money, uh, I definitely want it to settle and I want it to um, be in a sound decision. Um, as an educator, as a mother of three, I want to know how we're going to pour back into these kiddos that were um, shorted education over the past two years through the pandemic. Um, I want that money to be poured back into the district. And um, I want to make sure that we are looking at what's the most important priorities to the constituents here. Um, tax relief is always going to be a big thing. When I've been knocking on doors in my district, um, that is the number one thing that people bring up is their tax bill. So uh, definitely want to prioritize that as well. Um, two thirds of that money is going to go back to the school district anyway. So I am all about having conversations with the regional office of education to see how we're going to spend that money. Thank you. Candidate Ogilvie, same question. Like Elizabeth, I'm an educator and like Elizabeth, I would love to see a large chunk of that go back into the school districts in our county. Um, they definitely need it and the children have been shorted by being at home because of the epidemic and the things through everything with the TVs, cameras, online things, everything. Um, I would love to chat with the Regional Office of Education and find out what they would like, what we actually need, what could be reimbursed, online things for all the students. I mean, I, I know that uh, DeKalb School Districts have Chromebooks for their students. I'm assuming Sycamore does as well. And I would like to see that the opportunities for everyone to have those, uh, the opportunities for everyone to have access to online internet educational sources. Thank you. Candidate Ogilvie. Given the polarized climate and increased threats that elected officials face, what experiences or issues compelled you to run for political office? Wow. Um, I have many friends that uh, have been on the board at different times, and we chat sometimes, and they're not always Democrats, they're, you know, both parties. And we enjoy our conversations and the back and forth 
between us is and helps us to come to a conclusion that we both agree on as opposed to arguing and butting heads it's a much more amiable way of doing things now i was asked to participate and i thought well this community has given me so much and the people are so wonderful here that i needed to give back in one way or another and i thought well this would probably be the best way that i could think of to give back Thank you. Candidate Lundin. Uh, as of the past two years, I had a lot of opinions. I had a lot of thoughts and um, I found myself being um, passionate about them. And that has somehow trickled through the community, um, whether it be through those the school district or just people that I see out at the softball fields or at local businesses. And um, I was actually approached by community members that people kept bringing up my name and they came and asked me if I would run because I do have an energy that um, wants to give back and serve the community. Um, so I'm just really excited about that opportunity and I'm already losing my train of thought because what you see is what you get. With Liz Lundeen, I'm very transparent, um, but I just have a lot of energy. And oh, I know I want to show my girls that it's okay to have conversations with people that you don't disagree with. Um, you have to have conversation to Thank you. connect and solve problems. And I just want to be a great role model for my girls. Thank you. Uh, candidate Lundeen, DeKalb County is largely, largely rural. What do you see as the challenges farmers are facing and what might you do to support our local farmers? Um, I am going to be really honest with you. Um, I, I love everything about the idea of farming. I know a lot of young kids like Stuart was talking about the detasseling program. Um, you can't really meet a family that hasn't been in DeKalb County that hasn't been impacted by farming in some way. Um, I have a lot to learn. Uh, I'm trying to talk my daughter into joining the FFA at the high school next year so that she can have that agricultural piece into her um, repertoire, onto her resume. Um, I'm not sure what the, the farmer's biggest issue is. I, I would have to talk with them and um, find out what it is that they need. I, I wanna make sure that they feel like their voices are heard. That's another big, thing for me that I always want people to feel like they have their voice heard no matter where they lay, lie on the spectrum of issues. Thank you. Candidate Ogilvie. Well, like Elizabeth, I, uh, while I did detassel, I am not a farmer, but I have lots of experience and have talked with a lot of friends who happen to be farmers. Um, what they need or what uh, they are hoping for I they need to, it needs to be expressed to us uh, what they're looking for because I am not of the I don't uh, know enough about I know enough about farming to say okay this is this this is this but I do not I am no expert by any means and everything I learn about farming I learn from friends who are farmers and they talk to me about this I just want to be open enough with them and have a you know open discussion with them so when they come to me and say this is something we need that i'm willing and able to go and help them achieve what they need give them what they need thank you um we're going to go to closing statements now so um candidate ogilvy you will be the first to do closing statements and you get one minute Okay. Uh, well, thanks again. Um, I, like I was saying before, my name's Stuart Ogilvy. I grew up in this area. Um, my mom, uh, believe it or not, was a very active in League of Women Voters, so it's nice that they sent me this invitation. In fact, that's where I first got my first uh, toes wet in politics was through my mom helping the League of Women Voters out. I believe in sustainable renewable energy sources. I'm a strong union person. 
I would like to work with parks and forests to get more family activities involved there, as well as help out all the farmers in the county with uh, using their resources to the best of their ability economically and uh, as far as growth goes. I just hope that you vote for me. Hope that you'll vote for Brett as well. He was not able to get here, but we have two Democrats on the ballot. Thank you. Candidate Lundeen, your closing statement. Thank you again to the League of Women Voters. This is a really fun opportunity. Um, I, again, am Liz Lundeen. I am looking forward to being your District 4, one of your District 4 County Board representatives um, in the upcoming election. Um, Fiscal responsibility is always going to be near and dear to my heart, as small business owners are the heart and soul of this county. Um, I'm always so touched when I see a new restaurant opening up or someone putting their name out there to, uh, to do business here. Uh, it, it's awesome. Um, I am imploring all of my friends and my family and constituents in the district to get involved in local government. Um, I don't care who you vote for. I hope that you vote for me in this race, but I want you to be informed and involved. Um, I'm always going to back our first responders and our police officers and work with them to make sure that they have the resources they need. And um, I'm excited for the future. Thank you. Our time is up for this forum. Your participation as a candidate and as a voter is essential to preserving our freedom and our country. For more information, please visit the nonpartisan website, Illinois voterguide.org, where the recording of this forum will be po posted on each candidate's page. Please remember to vote on or before November 8th. We thank the candidates, the Voter Service Committee, and WNIJ for organizing this forum. Good night. Thank you. Thank you.